Hi, let's see how to fix the Fortnite ESP Viewmet 003 error. If you play the Fortnite on the Xbox or the PlayStation and you have recently encountered the ESP Viewmet 003 error, you are not alone. This error prevents the players from connecting to the Epic Game servers and enjoying the Fortnite with the friends. So let's see how to fix the Fortnite ESP Viewmet 003 error. The first method is restart your router. One of the most common causes of the ESP Viewmet 003 error is the network connectivity issues. Restarting your router will reset your network settings and may resolve any issues that were preventing a connection. Unplug the power cable at the back of your router. Wait for 30 seconds. With the power cable unplugged, plug the power cable back into your router. Wait for one or two minutes for it's fully to restart. Try launching the Fortnite again once the router has restarted. The second method is change your DNS settings. If restarting your router doesn't work, try changing your DNS settings. For Xbox, follow these steps sequentially one by one. For PlayStations, go to settings, network, setup, connect, internet connection, select your connect, current connection and select custom. Select DNS settings and then select menu, manual, enter the primary DNS 8888 and secondary DNS as 8844. Select next and connect to save changes. Launch the Fortnite. The third method is clear the Fortnite caches. Always try to clear the cookies and caches that is a temporary files from the console that can help you to fix the connectivity issues. For Xbox, go to settings, general storage, clear, and local saved games. Select clear on the Fortnite files. Launch the Fortnite once the cache is clear. On the PlayStation, go to settings, storage, save data, select the Fortnite and choose the delete. Confirm the deletion of the Fortnite save data. Launch the game once again. The cache is cleared. The fourth method is uninstall and reinstall the Fortnite. As a last resort, you can uninstall and then reinstall the Fortnite from your console store. This will wipe all the local game files and force the game to set up the fresh connections to on the next launch. The fifth method is check the server status of the Fortnite. Always try to check the server status of the Fortnite if there is any kind of maintenance is going on. You need to wait for some time, then again you can try again later. Okay. So that's all about this. Thank you.